talk a little first alert weather. We've got meteorologist Aaron Moran in for Scott, and we are watching our weather alerts, Aaron, that are in place for tomorrow into Friday. Yeah, a lot of active weather really expected around this time tomorrow night, so you'll want to be prepared for it. Uh, but of course, we alerted you on Monday, and we were talking about the severe weather threat over the weekend as well. So weather alerts for Thursday and Friday, that's kind of top in the headlines tonight. We're expecting all modes of severe weather to at least be possible. I think main things that we're going to be watching for are large hail and damaging winds, but severe storms most likely starting Thursday afternoon, continuing into the evening. We could still have some storm activity around heading into Friday afternoon, but it looks like the severe weather threat will be on the lower side on Friday, but heavy rain may actually be picking up. And then for the weekend, scattered showers are in the forecast on Saturday. It'll be cloudy with some isolated showers around as we head into Sunday. But for now, cloudy skies over Dallas. It's warm and breezy, though, across the area. Lots of spots getting into the 70s and 80s today, and we're still sitting at 77 degrees in Dallas with a south wind at 17 miles an hour. So if we got into the 70s and 80s, the cloud covers moving back in, and we're expecting mostly cloudy skies heading into tomorrow morning. Temperatures are not going to drop much. Most of us are going to be in the mid and upper 60s as we start our Thursday. A few spots out to the west in the low 60s. And then we just kind of wait and watch. We're expecting a pretty strong cap to be in place tomorrow. And then as we get into the afternoon, a dry line approaches from the west, eventually a cold front approaching as well. We're expecting that cap to break. So you see around 3 o'clock, storm chances start to pick up to 50% by 5 o'clock at 70%, and then tomorrow night, an 80% chance for showers and storms. So as I mentioned, all types of severe weather will be possible. Our biggest concerns, large hail and damaging winds, but heavy rain will be a concern, I think especially with the storms that we see Thursday night and then more rain in the forecast on Friday. Friday. And for some parts of North Texas, basically a little farther to the north and east than closer to Paris, a few tornadoes will be possible, but that tornado threat looks to be a little bit higher when you get out of Texas and up into Oklahoma. When the cap breaks is going to be crucial to this forecast, most likely scenario again being that these storms kind of develop in the late afternoon and evening time frame. So here's Thursday morning, 7 a.m. We're not seeing much, uh, but we do have a clearing out to the west. That dry line is moving in. As we get to 4 o'clock, you start to see a little bit more of a well-defined line for some showers and isolated storms. By 5, 6 o'clock, that's when we really start to see these isolated storms popping up. They will be strong to severe, and they intensify as we head towards 7 o'clock. So from Dallas County to Collin County, all the way up to Paris, you are seeing severe storms on first alert future cast. Most of that pushing to the north and east as we head into the 8, 9 o'clock hour. But we could still have some isolated storms as far south and west as Stephenville by 9, 10 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. Then that cold front swings through heading into Friday. Friday morning, so you've got all of that rain south of I-20 by 5 a.m., but then behind the front you get post-frontal rain and storms. This is where that heavy rain comes into play. This is why we're keeping that weather alert in play for your Friday. Now, Saturday, we still have some scattered showers in the forecast, 50% chance with temperatures in the mid-60s. Sunday, we should have mostly cloudy skies, but mainly dry with highs near 70, and then 60s with mainly dry conditions for the first half of next week, guys. Aaron.